Chuck Yokobi with basic instructions. I want to talk about mindset for a minute, but before I go deeper into it, I want you to join me on an imaginary trip to the movies. It'll be fun. Most of us, we haven't gotten out of the house and relaxed and had fun at the cinema for a while now. Now, I don't know about you, but back when I was growing up, I really loved superhero movies. Marvel, DC comic, didn't matter. The idea of having superpowers and be able to fix what I feel are wrongs in my world really spoke to me. So we're comfortably sunk down in our seats with our feet up, got the popcorn and drinks relaxed and enjoying this so far. And one of those climactic moments in the story is about to happen. Imagine it, the scene goes something like this. A bridge is about to collapse because a supervillain has weakened the supports to the point where the entire thing is going to crumble into the river. As the bridge creaks and teeters, our superhero learns about the crisis and races to the scene. I mean, he's the only person with the strength to avert catastrophe and save hundreds of lives. And as he's flying through the air, our superhero is less than 10 seconds away from the bridge now. And as he gets closer, a voice in his head reminds him of the time he couldn't climb the rope in gym class back in elementary school. A couple of seconds later, he recalls his father telling him that it would be best if he set his sights low for his future. Just learn to trade. That's what you should do. And with the bridge in sight now, another vision emerges in front of him. His former best friend ridiculing him for his delusions of grandeur, wanting to grow up and make a difference in the world. <laughs> That's funny. Rubble from the bridge just topples into the water. The creaking gets louder. The screams of dozens and dozens fill the air. And our superhero, overwhelmed with doubt, sits down by the side of the road covers his face with his hands, and drowns in self-pity. Wait, what? It's not what you'd expect from a superhero. I mean, that doesn't make for a very good storyline for a movie. You probably can't imagine a superhero obsessing and obsessing over the times in the past that he felt less than. Whether it be because of the times back then he may not have gotten the job done, or had his ambitious dreams for the future minimized or put down by those closest to him. I'm sure you can relate. I mean, thinking about those memories that still make you believe now that I can't, I'm not, or I just don't want that again. The question I'm asking myself is, what's the difference between me and the star of this movie, the superhero? I'm sure you'd agree that our hero, he obviously has the capability to get the job done, no matter how big it seems, right? I mean, you're a superhero, think about it. There is absolutely no limit to what you can accomplish. I mean, you're faster than a speeding train, able to leap skyscrapers in a single bound. You're a superhero, remember? So why would I continue to relive those moments that I felt less than? Those stories of falling short or being put down by others spinning around and around in my head, obsessing over what I don't wanna feel. Those things aren't happening now, but recalling them makes me feel them now. And at the worst time, when the opportunity for me is at its highest. When I think about it, this story's about you. I mean, it's about me. It's about all of us, really. Recognize, we're not born with pre-installed mindsets about what we're capable of achieving. I mean, we learn these fixed and limited ways of thinking from people in our lives and the experience we had growing up. But you realize now we're all grown up. It's time to let that go. We are human beings, the top of the food chain, the owner of the most powerful force in all of nature, the human mind. The same human mind that landed perseverance on Mars last week. The human mind that enabled the Wright brothers to fly like birds, created science to cure diseases, and the same mind that continuously shapes and evolves life on planet Earth. I'm sure you'd agree, there is no arguing what the human mind is capable of. It's like a supercomputer, it has no limits, it's limitless. And you have one of those supercomputers. That means you're limitless. All we have to do is take control of our supercomputer and calibrate a limitless mindset. Your thoughts and self-talk, the ongoing conversation you're having with yourself day after day, the self-judgment and ideas that you obsess and obsess about all the time. That's like the operating software that's running your mind. It's running your thoughts and ultimately running your life. Your thoughts run your life. So how do I stop those limiting conversations? Like, I can't do it, I'm not good enough. Well, that's basic instruction number one, let go of the past. Letting go of the obsessive thought of experiences from the past that triggered us to feel fear, guilt, sorrow, made us believe that we are less than. Think about it, as a superhero, 
If I didn't have these limiting beliefs and ideas ruminating in my mind in the moment, I mean, just imagine what I could accomplish. I could leap tall buildings in a single bound, save countless lives. Learning to adopt a limitless mindset, it can change the world. I mean, you're a human born with the faculty of the human mind, a limitless force on planet Earth. That makes you limitless. So recognize that without a limitless mindset, just like the star of this movie, those superpowers you have aren't doing as much good as they could. Let go of the past, let go of the limiting beliefs, and step into your superpower. Success is simple, if you know the basic instructions.